granted with the powers to read minds, would you or would you not accept it? Sounds cool, having the powers of Charles Xavier. That would be like... So, that's about it for today's interview. I want to be honest with you, I think you're pretty qualified for our job. Oh, thank you, sir. However, I do have one last question that I would like to ask you. And this is a rather important question, so think thoroughly before you answer this one. Okay. What do you expect of your annual salary? Well... This kid is good. He's got what it takes. If only he would settle with anything less than 150000 Well, sir, uh... I would say 149,000 US dollars. You're hired. Like who wouldn't want that? But that would also mean you'd be hearing the things that people didn't intend for you to hear in the first place like, <laughs> Hey Joey! Oh, hey JR, what's up? Oh, I was just thinking you want to catch the um, movie. I gotta go. Nice shirt by the way. That, that shirt, shirt looks shirt hideous. hideous. Now if I asked you the other way around, would you allow people to read your mind? Definitely not. But in fact, we're already letting that happen, giving ourselves away with this. Whenever you check in your location, upload a selfie, give a like on social media, post your feelings online, you are telling the world about yourself. And that information could wind up in the hands of the people that you've never thought or heard of. How could something as simple as taking a selfie put ourselves at risk? When you take a selfie, there's more than just you in the photo. You can't see them, but details like where and when you took it are there too. When you share a selfie, more details like where you are, what network you're on, and what phone you're using are added to it. And your selfie is copied a few times by the social networks you posted on. When you tag others in your selfie, some of their information gets attached to it too. And if they share it, it gets copied some more. So one selfie equals lots of information times lots of copies going to lots of places within minutes. Not long ago, Facebook admitted that the personal information of 87 million users may have been improperly leaked to a data analysis company. Your personal data that can trace back to years of where you've been by the hour, your shopping habits, where you've dined, your phone number, your address, your birth date, and so on, just might have been leaked. And while there's no excuse for any social media platform to take advantage of our personal data, we are the ones that have the most control and responsibility over our own privacy. We get to decide what we want or don't want people to know about ourselves. So the next time you upload a selfie, know that you're sharing more than just a photo. And sometimes it's just simply easier to keep safe by keeping your selfies to yourself. Peace.